Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you a classic holiday makeup look with a couple twists. I'm starting off with a fresh face and I'm using only Marcel makeup for this look. Marcel is actually one of the first brands that ever reached out to me back when I started blogging and I'm really happy to be finally working with them on a video. Marcel is dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic and perfume free so they're great for those with sensitive skin like myself. So I can't wait to show you the look that I came up with and show you a couple twists on the classic holiday makeup look. To begin, I'm using the Marcel BB Cream in Golden Glow. It's an illuminator and skin enhancer for the face. You can use this product on its own and it's going to act as a skin enhancer. It's going to even out your skin at a little bit of a glow, but I'm actually going to use this as a base, which you can also use it for. You can see in that clip right there, it gives a really natural coverage, which I really like on its own, but I will be applying some of the Marcel Flawless Skin Fusion Foundation. This is just going to add a little bit more coverage, which I want because I will be playing up my eyes and lips in this look. To go hand in hand with the foundation, Marcel also has the Flawless Skin Fusion Concealer, which I've used before on my channel. I have the shade Light to Medium, and I'm going to use this to conceal any darkness underneath my eyes, but also to highlight points of my face, so down the center of my nose, forehead, cupid's bow, and I'm also going to apply a little bit on my eyelids to prime my eyes. To set the face, I'll be using the Marcel Face Powder in Translucent. I've also used this before on my channel. It's great if you like to bake your under eyes like I do. So I'm going to be applying a generous amount with my beauty sponge and packing that on underneath my eye to set that concealer. I'm also going to be using this on the same sponge to set the rest of my face. For my eyes, I will be using the Nouveau Nude Eyeshadow Quad from Marcel. I'm starting out with a big, flat eyeshadow brush and I'm packing that first shade all over my lid up to my brow bone and that's going to act as my base shade as well as my highlight shade. Taking that medium brown shade and a fluffy crease brush, I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. So I'm going to apply this gently into the crease and I'm going to gradually blend this out as well as slowly deepen it up till I get my desired intensity. To add a little bit more drama to the look, I'm taking the darkest brown in the palette and a denser brush and I'm going to pack this on my outer corner and I'm just going to gradually deepen this up until I get the desired intensity for the outer corner and this is just going to add a lot of dimension to the look and make the eyes look a little bit more dramatic.
After I've laid down the color, I always like to go back with that fluffy brush and just make sure all the edges are nicely blended. You can add a little bit more of that medium brown if you wanna deepen things up a little bit more or just keep it completely bare of product. Now I'm going back with that eyeshadow brush and that lid color and I'm just going to reapply this to the lid. This is just going to help clean up the look a little bit. I really wanted to make sure that lid shade popped. Now I'm just cleaning up any of the edges, just lightly blending around just so that everything's seamless. And once we're done with the eyeshadow, we're going to move on to our eyeliner. I'm using this double precision liquid eyeliner pen, which has two ends to it, as you can guess. One is a much smaller, finer tip, and the other is a little bit fatter. I'm actually going to use the bigger end because I've been doing a lot of really precise wings lately, and I wanted to do actually a thicker wing liner, and I thought it worked for a more classic holiday look. I like that thick wing at the end, so that's what we're going to achieve with the thicker end of this pen. Moving on to brows, I will be using the Marcel Eyebrow Liner in dark brown. And I really like this because you can get really precise hair-like strokes with this pencil. It's very thin, it also has a spoolie on one end, which I think is essential for a brow pencil. So I'm using the spoolie first to comb my brows in place, and then I'm going to fill in the shape of my brows. I was going for a more thick brow because I do have very sparse brows, so I will be filling in quite a bit. To set the brow hairs in place and also add some sculpt and an enhancement, I'm using the Marcel Perfect Brow Tinted Brow Gel and I'm just going to run that through my brows. And then I'm going to go back to that palette, finish off my lower lash line. I'm using that dense smudging brush and that medium brown shade. I'm going to start off using that underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with an angled brush and the darkest shade in that quad and put that on the outer corner. Next, I'll be using Marcel's Volume Extension Magnetic Mascara. It's great for length, volume, and definition. You can see by the brush that it's really good at separating your lashes, and it applies a really nice coat of product to the lashes as well. I will be using two coats of this. You'll see me put on my first there, and then I'm going in with my second. And I'm gonna show you a little clip of how my lashes look with mascara and without mascara, and you can definitely see the difference. And I'm not using any falsies for this look. This is strictly mascara, quite a difference in my opinion. During my makeup, I always like to take a step back and see what I need to fix. My brows were looking a little bit harsh, so I'm just going to clean those up a bit. For eyeliner, I'm using Marcel's Eyeliner Coal in white. It's waterproof, eight hour wear, it's great for your waterline, and a white coal pencil is going to help open up your eyes and make them look bigger and more awake. Then I'm going in with that same mascara we were using earlier, the Volume Extension Magnetic Mascara, and we're going to put a light coat on our lower lashes. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Marcel Quad Bronzer in Sunkissed. You can see by the three highlighted shades, I'm going to swirl my brush in those and use those for my bronzer. I'm not going to use that fourth lighter shade. You'll see soon what I'm going to do with that. Thank you. 
going back to the Marcel Quad Bronzer and Sunkist, I'm taking that lighter shade which I didn't use earlier. I'm actually going to use that as a highlight shade. I think it makes a really beautiful subtle highlight on my skin tone. For blush, I'm using Marcel's Monochromatic Blush in Dust, and I think this just ties the look really nicely together. It gives you a really natural flush to the cheeks. Next, I'm going to show you two lip options. I'm using the Rouge Expression Lipsticks, which are actually a winner of the Elle Beauty Grand Prix 2016 award. I'm starting off with a red shade. It's a cream in Amour, which is your classic true red shade. Applying that to my lips, and that's what that finished look looks like. This is your classic holiday makeup look. For those who want something a little bit more dramatic, something different, I'm going to show you another shade, which is a pearl finish. It's called Feline and this is a burgundy shade. So this is going to make the look a little bit more dramatic, a little deeper, but I think the color is so beautiful. So let me know in the comments which shade you like, if you like the red or if you like the burgundy. Now I want to show you the difference from white in the waterline to black. So we're making it a little bit more dramatic now. We're putting black in our waterline, same eye coal formula as the white. Along with the darker lip option, this is also going to add more drama. Once we have added that black to the waterline, that's going to complete the changes for our second look. Let me know which one you prefer in the comment section below. I'd love to know. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thanks to Marcel for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.